couple of days ago, a customer um, contacted us, and he said he had every United States stamp issued from 1957 to 1972. And is it simple to add or inventory all those stamps easily in Stamp Manage? And yes, it's very simple to do that. Not only that, uh, let's say you have 99% of the stamps from 1957 to 72. What you can do is easily cherry pick or, or remove the ones you don't have uh, and inventory the rest very quickly and easily. Uh, and there's also a couple other year related uh, inventory features and stamp manager we're going to show you in the video that follows. The first scenario we're going to show is let's say you own all United States stamps from 1957 to 1972 across categories. For example, you have all the airmail postage due stamps from that period as well. Um, what you're going to do is click on the add stamp button there and select just the United States you're not going to expand this just click on the United States and you can see here it's showing all United States stamps in the program now right now it's sorted by Scott number we're gonna change that to date issued now we're gonna find 1957 Here we go right here. So first stamp would be Scott number 1086 from January 11, 1957. Now to select all the stamps from 57 to 72, we've selected the first stamp. Now we're going to hold down the shift key on our keyboard and then select the last stamp in that sequence. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we've selected all stamps across categories from 57 to 72. Um, I'm sure the possibility that they're all the same grade is pretty low, but if but if they were, or you're using a not not such a long range of years, let's say you're just uh, using stamps from you're selecting stamps from one or two separate years. Let's say they're all in one condition. You're just going to select that condition, and all the stamps will be. Uh, assign that condition as well as the value for that condition if present so now we're not going to do that in this case so all you got to do is click OK it's going to add all stamps from that period and as you can see here there's they're nicely separated into categories so you see all the air, air mail stamps I think permit general issue etc Now let's look at another possibility. Let's say you only have the general issue United States stamps from a certain period. So we can click on add stamp here. And let's say you have all the general issue United States stamps from 1945 to 1946, for example. Uh, what we can do here is select the first stamp in that sequence as we did before. Notice where we have the general issue selected here. So that's all we're going to see in this list view now. So we're going to see Scott number 933. And once again, we hold down the shift key, select the last stamp in that sequence, and click OK. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to add all the stamps from that sequence from that period of years. Now, Let's, let's be realistic. In most cases, in many cases, uh, you'll have stamps from, for example, 1946 to 1950, but you're going to be missing a couple of varieties. So here's what you can do. Let's say you have all the stamps from 1946 to 1950 general issue in the United States, but you're missing a couple. What you can do is this. Click on that stamp dialog again. Go back and select 1946. Then we'll do 
the same up until the end of 1950. Once again, holding down the shift key, that selects the entire range from the start to the, to the last stamp selected. Now what you can do is hold down your control key and when you hold down your control key it allows you to cherry pick what stamps you want to select or unselect. So right now I'm going to hold down the control key and unselect some of the stamps that uh, theoretically I don't own. Okay. And let's say they're all in uh, mint very fine condition, the ones I do have. You just click there. And it's going to add all those that have been selected as I showed. Now we added for the 2016 edition um, a add by year feature. So what you can do in the add stamp dialog is the default is look at the country and category. You can click on this little tab here and expand it. And instead of showing the categories, it now shows all the years present in the stamp database for that particular country. So that's a quick way to add stamps for an entire year. Let's say we have all stamps from 1925 uh, with a couple of exceptions. So what we can do is select the first one, then scroll down to the last one. With Hit the shift key. It's going to select all the stamps. I can cherry pick which ones I have. Uh, if I just I just have a few stamps from 1925, uh, I can just go ahead and holding down the control key, select the ones I have. Hit OK and they all get entered into the your stamp inventory. And now we have yet a third way of entering stamps by year. And the way to do that is you click on the Stamp Manage Catalog uh, button there in the main window. And you can see here we have uh, the Stamp Manage database separa separated by many different groupings. One of the groupings is country and year. So we can expand that and expand the United States and look at all the stamps from a particular year that way as well. And if we have a stamp, all you need to do is right mouse click and say quick add to current collection and as you can see here it adds it to the collection and notifies you in this um, part in this part of the window here that how many of this particular variety you own so um, hope that was helpful thank you for watching take care bye bye